Hi, so I'm just going to explain on this video how I'm going to actually do a movable knot at the end on your Uguru bead. So here's one we did before. So I'm going to take this off. So we're going to get some marla cord. I'm going to cut maybe about that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the two strings and I'm going to tie a knot equally to the centre of that. So somewhere around there. So we're going to tie a knot. Okay, so we're going to start by taking this one to the right and we're going to move it behind these two and over this one. So behind the first two and over this one. I'm going to bring that one over and put it through this loop. So when we pull this closed it will go like that. So I like to get on pretty tight for the first one and that's one. So depending on the size of the mall, it depends on how many of these we do. Let's see how many we should do on this. So now we move on the left hand side across so underneath those two and above that we bring the other one through so it's reversed what we've done before so basically then you get that there and that there so one two so we're going to go back to what we did before right side two under two and this one And that's going to make three. Over to the left hand side, that one through there, and that's going to make four. Right side, under those two, that one through there, five. Left side, under that one through there, or up to six. So that one through there, that one through there, seven, this one back through there, this one back through there is eight, this one under there, this one under there. So we're going to do that as a nine one, I think that's what I did before. So when we get to the nine that's finished, it's quite easy. So we cut off around maybe that much. So we've got that there. So keeping these strings out of the way, what I'm going to do is I'm going to burn this down. So I'm going to burn that down and touch it so that the melted part melts onto it. So that'll dry hard and that won't move anywhere. Doing the same, flipping it over, and you got this to the other side, and cut that there. And do the same again with the lighter. I'm going to burn that down, and we're going to squash that down. So again, that's like that, and that's that done. So now you have a movable not on there. If you're looking to finish it off reasonably tidy, this is just as a as an example, but what you can do is get a bead, move that through. I'm just going to do show you the end here because I'm not going to finalise this one because this bead's not right for it. But I would go like this. I would then do that. I would again cut that much off. Scissors aren't the greatest, unfortunately. And I'm going to just burn that down so it squashes onto the knot. 
and that would be your end. So in theory, it would be something like that. Okay. Thank you.